Extracting DNA from Cheek Cells For this experiment you are going to need 250 ml of water, half a tablespoon of salt, a milliliter of liquid soap or washing up liquid, preferably colourless, 50 ml of rubbing alcohol or alcohol gel, at least 70% alcohol, two drops of food dye, well that's optional, and a small glass or clear plastic cup, about half a pint size. We're going to try to extract some DNA from our own cells, our own cheek cells. What we need for this is some washing up liquid or liquid hand gel, uh, 250 ml of water, some uh, rubbing gel or hand sanitizing gel, more than 70% alcohol, we need some salt and we need a glass. First of all, we're going to take our 250 ml of water and we're going to add half a tablespoon of salt. And then we need to stir that until the salt has completely dissolved. We then need to transfer two tablespoons of this salt water into a plastic cup or a glass because now comes the fun bit. Hopefully you can bear a taste of salt water. So what you're going to do with it is you are going to gargle with it quite vigorously to try to get the cheek cells off from the side of your cheek. Then once you've finished gargling you're going to spit that water, salt water and cheek cells back into the same glass. I'm not going to show you this on the video because it's not an attractive side. Now you're going to add approximately one milliliter of liquid soap, preferably colourless, to the gargled water. I have measured it out, it's just going to take a while to come out of the container. This uh, soap will basically uh, break open the cell membranes of your cheek cells and the nuclear membranes of your cheek cells because they have got a lipid bilayer in them and as we know soap and dishwashing liquid break down fats. So using this will break, up, break open the cell membranes and the nuclear membranes to allow the DNA to come out of the cells. So then gently swirl the liquid. You don't want to get soap suds. You're just helping the breakdown of the membranes. You can add some food colouring to your alcohol gel or alcohol liquid. Um, remember, it's got to be more than 70% alcohol because the colouring, food colouring can help you see the DNA. So I have a nice pink food colouring here. I put the food colouring in first just in case too much comes out because otherwise you're going to flood the alcohol gel. You only want a few drops. So I'll put it into the cap. So I only have a tiny amount. One, two, there we go, that will do. Two drops. And then I want 50 mils of this alcohol gel. Mix it up. So I now have a nicely coloured alcohol gel. Then what you should do is you should put the alcohol gel into the freezer to start off with. Because the colder the alcohol gel, the more effective it is at drawing out the DNA. So my coloured alcohol gel has now been in the freezer for about five minutes. So comes the last stage. What you're going to do is you're very, going to very carefully pour the alcohol gel down the side of your glass and let it just sit on top of your gargled water. And then you can just give it a little swirl. Hopefully what it will do is it will pick 
the DNA out. I'm just giving it a little swirl. You see how it's on top of the water. How are we doing? A little bit more alcohol. Warm our alcohol in now. And you just got to give it about four minutes. So we'll just leave it now and see what happens in four minutes. If you give your glass a good swirl and then put it onto some white paper, hopefully you'll see some cotton wool like strands forming in the middle of your coloured alcohol gel. That is your DNA from your cheek cells.